What up, Five Stripe fam? This is your girl, Kelly Francis, with NREL ATL and Atlanta United Fan TV. I'm with your boy here, Devin Farrell. We're going to get some thoughts on the match from the man himself. All right, let's start out. What were your overall thoughts on the match? Uh, you know, I thought it was great. Uh, every, I, th I thought we put no. I mean, I didn't think that we did very well. Um, anytime you play up a man for 50 plus minutes and, mm -hmm. and don't capitalize, it looked bad. I, I really wanted to see Joseph take the shot on his breakaway, but Tarek was able to knock it. I mean, you know, you want to look for the positives. There weren't many. Uh, I feel like the goal that they scored was just random, and, and Brad's got to either come out or stay at home because the indecision kills. And yeah, on, on your thoughts on that, what were your what were your thoughts on the substitutions and who they subbed for who and who maybe should have been in the positions that they were in for the starting 11? That's that's something that you and I were talking about. Like Parkhurst yeah. at left back is always a questionable decision. Yeah, um, I'm, I know you can't drop Miles Robinson and I know LGP has pretty much made himself your second center back, but playing Parkhurst at left back for 55 minutes and then subbing him off for Breck Shea, it's just a head scratcher. I thought Dion Pereira came on and played well because Julian Gressel looked absolutely gassed. The Romario Williams substitution just smacks of desperation like you're just trying to throw on another attacker into a, a crowded box they you know once they got their goal they bunkered and and did some shithousery and wasted a lot of time and and the official let them absolutely so <laughs> let's let's talk in this deeper Dion Pereira substitution yep. what were your thoughts about Dion Pereira when he came onto the match and and what he contributed to the game I mean you're talking about you know a young kid from Watford you know probably barely 18 and and uh you know, every every match that he's played, he's he's looked better and better. He's he's really acclimating to the game. I like the fact that he's able to be so versatile, left, right, uh, you know, dropping into center back on set pieces as we push forward with Lorenowitz and and LGP. You know, he's really coming of age, so that's a good thing to see. But there's just a lack of continuity on offense. Like, I'm not sure what it is, but it just doesn't feel like we're scoring goals from outfield play. You know, it's it, it's penalties or you know it's set pieces, but I mean. Yeah, PT had his banger, but like, when did we look dangerous today? Uh, like, that's that's the biggest problem for me is I don't really feel. I mean, yeah, we had some shots on goal, but I mean, the one time I felt like we were really dangerous is when Joseph had a breakaway and didn't shoot. How often are you going to see that? Uh, on that note, how do you think we change what we're doing now on how we can contribute to to an, a more attacking style of play like we have been known for? These guys are tired. I mean, these guys are shattered. We need some rest. That's, that's pretty much what I mean. Eight matches in 28 days, and today was that day where the cross-country flight from Vancouver to New Jersey, and it really looked like it caught up with us. We looked dead. You know, and, and that's, that's playing a man up. We were a man up for the better part, like I said, of 50 minutes. You know, And to not be able to capitalize on that and to not be able to really even put a, a challenging shot on Robles' net was, was just uninspiring. So I don't want to rant. I don't want to go off or say anything like that. But, I mean, the guys need some rest. The rotations didn't work. And um, the last sub was questionable, in my opinion. That's a great point about us being uh, a man up almost what 30 minutes like into the game yeah yeah we, we were getting empanadas and and the next yeah. thing you know, i hear kelly scream out they just red carded them which was it was it was so you know it was so kind of like just what happened and then for us like i said for them not to have parker and, and still be able to come out on top and us not be able to challenge their net it's 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 it makes you question things that you know i know i get i know i get a lot of flack for saying to bore out but i just I really don't like the way we attack. We were an attacking team that looks so bridled. You know, it's a lot of side to side. Possession doesn't mean anything if you're not doing anything with it. So absolutely, absolutely. So, in that case, with us being a man up, with us uh, lacking creativity in the box, and really not being able to put a very clear shot on goal, what do you think this team needs to do going forward, heading into next week, where we still have even more games in a congested schedule? How do we get out of this? How do we see the 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 finish line and I mean, this and this congested form of runs? Well, luckily we're coming to a point where the the run is starting to slow down a little bit, but you know, Tito's got to finish his chances. Joseph's got to start scoring again. He's playing so deep. Uh, By the way, happy birthday, Joseph. Happy birthday. Wish you would have put one in. But um, he's just playing so deep. It's, it's You want to say practice field. You want to say, you know, just being able to get into it. But this is a long run that we've, we've seen some really disjointed offensive play, and I don't know how you fix it. Well, there you go. There you have it, Five Stripe Man. That is what Devin For Real thinks of this game. If you want to hear some more opinions, check out the next video on YouTube.